Hi, my name is Alicia English, and if you're not already subscribed to my channel, you want to hit that button and make sure you don't miss my next DIY videos coming your way. So during this video, I'm going to show you three separate ways that you can cut your own circle. So the first way is to use a scroll saw. The second way is to cut it with a jigsaw. And the third way is to use a router with a homemade jig. So the first step is actually creating your circle. So I'm going to use a piece of cardboard and make a homemade protractor so that I can make an accurate circle to the diameter that I want my circle to be. First thing is I'm going to use a nail and I'm going to poke a hole in the center of the end of my piece of cardboard. This is going to be our pivoting spot on our protractor, but we're gonna pull it out for now. So once I have my hole, I'm going to use a measuring tape and I'm going to line it up with the center of the hole. I'm going to mark all the inches going down. I'm going to label each of my dashes 1 through 12. I'm going to take my same nail and I'm going to poke a hole in each of the marks that I just made. So this is how the protractor is going to work. So you're going to put your nail back in to your pivot spot. And if I wanted to make a 10 inch wide across circle, I'm going to use the five because this is five inches halfway across the circle from the center point of what your circle is going to be. And then there'll be five more inches on this side. So when it spins, it's going to create a 10 inch circle. So what I'm going to do is I just, I'm going to make my 10 inch circle here. So I want to make sure that I leave myself enough space so I can kind of predict where I'm going to have enough room for five inches on all sides where I'm going to be making my circle, which that looks good. So I'm going to hammer in not all the way through, but just in enough to hold it securely into my piece of plywood. And then this should spin with ease. I'm gonna use a sharp writing utensil and I'm going to draw my line all the way around. And there I have a 10 inch wide circle. And then you just remove your protractor and you have a perfect circle to cut with whatever tool you're going to cut it with. Now that I have my perfect circle cut out, I actually cut all the way around it so that I could manipulate using the saw better within that great big piece of wood that I had. So I'm going to now cut this out using my scroll saw. I'm going to cut this circle out using my jigsaw. When you're cutting with a jigsaw, you want to make sure that the good side that you're going to want to use for your painting is actually down because the jigsaw doesn't keep a very smooth edge when you're cutting, so you want that to be on the back side. And again, I'm just gonna give it a light sand. You wanna make sure when you're using the jigsaw that you cut straight up and down. It's really easy when you're cutting a circle to wanna lean your blade while you're cutting, and then you won't get a straight up and down side along the edges of your circle. So making my little DIY protractor inspired me to create more and more circles, which I found took me quite a bit of time because I started making a lot of circles and being a little bit obsessed with circles. So I've now upgraded my little cardboard and nail protractor to this homemade jig that I created for my router, which I will feature in an upcoming video on how you could make your very own at home, which will save you so much time if you're going to cut more than just a couple of circles.
I cut using my scroll saw. This is my cut circle that I made with my jigsaw and this is the one that I used with my router homemade jig. So this is the 10 inch circle that I made using wood. So this is a three quarter inch thick wood. So you can use all different types of materials of wood to create your circles using the same three methods. So I hope this inspires you to make some of your own round wood signs. This is one that I created earlier this week. I'm really having a lot of fun making these. And so this is actually part one of three videos that are coming your way this week about what you can do with round wood signs. If you want to make sure that you don't miss parts two and three of this series, click the notification bell so that YouTube tells you when this next video comes available. Comment down below what phrase you'd like to see on a round sign. Don't forget to like and subscribe.